In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a comparison table. In this example, I've given the comparison Europe versus America and the factors which I've used is population area, GDP, employment percentage and the military. So you can just give the details and you can add some uh, the images to it on the left and the right side. And depending on the requirement, you can just change the information as you like. And I've created one more slide where with a different background and some colors, you can see it looks something like this. So depending on the requirement, you can just change it or I have used one uh, simple one where you can just change the headlines and the data as per your requirements. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free. And I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the first option, which is rectangles, draw a rectangle, maybe this much size exactly in the center. Shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. I'm going to give this a light gray color here. All right. Then I'm going to add one rectangle towards the left. So go to insert shapes. Select the rectangle, draw a rectangle which is bigger than this degree rectangle. You can see here shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. I'm going to give some light uh, green color which looks something like this. You can see here. Then I'm going to insert one more rectangle uh, inside with a white color. So go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle. All right shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give this as white color and later on we can change the size of this and i'm going to add one more rectangle here for the text so no outline and shape fill i'm going to give this as a kind of a black all right and reduce i'm going to reduce the size of this one to match the height of this and you can hold the alt key so that i can reduce the borders here you can see here by holding the alt key while dragging this one all right so you can see here i have made something like this then i'm going to add two right triangles so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the right triangle draw a small right triangle here which looks something like this shape outline make it no outline and shape will give some dark color here so you can see here dark green and then i'm going to hold the control shift key and drag this down sorry again hold the control shift key drag this down let me just zoom in and i'll bring it more down you should properly align this one rotate you can see here i'm going to make it flip vertical and reduce the size to match with this and i'm going to reduce the width as well so it looks something like this so here also i'm going top and make sure it is touching this one and reduce a little bit the width so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this the green color shapes till here all this right triangle including the right triangle with the help of the mouse just uh, drag the mouse over these objects and release it and press ctrl g to group it okay or you can just right mouse click and you can group also okay so now i'm going to hold the ctrl shift key drag this towards the right all right then go to the shape format rotate you can see here i'm going to make it flip horizontal so i end up getting a shape towards the right as well so once this is done now it's time to add the details so before that one go to view remove the guides or untick the guides all right then go to the insert text box here i'm going to type vs that is versus white font if you want you can increase the size and put it exactly in the center press ctrl d and here you are going to type for example you're going to compare uh, europe with asia or europe with america or different countries or continents uh, depending on the requirement so here i'm just going to give a headline 
all right so you can just change the text with your own uh, text okay i'm giving maybe a uh, 22 all right and hold the control shift key drag this one and this is for example i'm going to say headline one and this is headline two all right then we have to add a uh, different factors here before that one i would like to add one table here so go to insert tables one two three four five rows i'm going to add so i'm going to select this five rows and once you select the table you can go to the table design and remove or untick this branded rows and header row banded row and header row needs to be removed all right now the color i would like to use inside for the lines is the same color which i've used here the, the bright green color so i'm going to select the pen color and i'm going to choose this the bright green then the borders first of all make it shadings as no fill and the borders i'm going to make it as no borders and then go to the border again and select the inside horizontal border only so you can see here i've got the lines here so reduce the width and increase the height you can see here So I got one, two, three, four, five. So now I'm going to hold the control shift key, drag this towards the right box. All right. And then I'm going to add one more for the center. Press control D. So instead of green color, I would like to use uh, some uh, gray color here. So I'm going to select the gray color and click on this border again. So it changes to the gray color and reduce the width. The height should remain same. And it looks something like this. So you can see here headline one versus headline two and then you can go to the insert text you can just add the factor which you're going to compare factor one center align all right make sure it is aligned properly hold the control shift key and drag it down and release it again hold the control shift key okay then this is the factor 2 factor 3 4 and 5 all right so now i'm going to hold the control shift key drag it towards the right here and this also i'm going to drag it towards the right you can see here so now you can just comparison okay data one and this is comparison data one okay so you can just compare this data with this okay make sure this is properly aligned and hold the control shift key and drag this down you can see here and then change the data maybe this is two this is three all right so you can just change the data one two three this is four and this is five so here also you can just change it according to your own requirements i'm just going to put it data one two three four five so you can see here our data the table is ready and if you want to give some kind of an image here so you can add some uh, hexagon shapes so go to insert shapes you can add a oval shape or you can add a hexagon also i'm going to use the hexagon and i'm going to rotate it so that alt and right arrow key i'm just going to rotate it like this all right and put it here shape outline i'm going to give some green color and shape fill you can just insert some picture to it or you can right mouse click go to the format shape under fill i'm going to select picture or texture fill because i have used this image that's the reason it is coming and remove this tick box all right and then hold the control shift key drag it towards the right and then change any other picture you want for example i'm just going to say uh, building and i'm going to choose any building of my choice so let me just choose this one and click insert and the building got inserted here so you can see here 
In this simple way, you can create this comparison table easily.